right, let's try this another way. So um, what I want to do with this is draw a little picture, and I'll you know draw it up here. It looks cute. So we're launching it at 15 meters per second, and that's the initial velocity at an angle that's unknown. And we want to actually figure out what this angle is, and I know that it ends up at 18 meters over here. So in the x direction, let's write down my equation. Um, so first, I know that um, I have 15 meters per second launched at an angle of theta. So my initial y speed is going to be 15 at a sine of theta. And my x is going to be 15 at a cosine. So when I set up my x equation, it's going to be x is v in the x direction, t plus x naught. When we write that down, that's going to be 15, sorry, 18 meters that I land at is going to be 15 cosine of theta times an unknown time. And that's the total time to go up and down and land at that point. Now let's see what's going on in the y direction. In the y direction, I know that at the top here, my speed zero. I don't know what the height is, so let me try to write down some formulas. So I have y equals one half, negative one half gt squared plus v naught in the y direction times t plus y naught. Um, so I know that y is unknown, so I'll leave it as y equals negative one half. I'll put in ten. I don't know what my time squared is. And let's just be clear. Um, this time here is the total time. This is just half the time to go up. So even if you solve for that, don't plug it in there. And then I have um, 15 times the sine of my unknown angle times t plus 0. This is just a mess. We can't do anything with this formula. So I'll just cross it out. So we'll put not helpful. Let's try the second formula. Um, Vy equals g negative gt plus Vy naught. And we'll see what we can do. So we have here at the top we get a speed of 0 equals negative 10 times t plus um, v naught times the sine of theta. This is a little weird. Um, two unknowns and there's really not a lot I can do with it. So um, it looks like I've got two unknowns and um, I just realized there is one more thing I can replace this with. I can replace the v-naught with a 15, but it still doesn't get me very far. We're going to come back to this formula in a second. Let me just try the third formula. So I have um, vy squared equals v-naught y squared plus, sorry, minus 2 times g times y minus 0. Let's plug in our numbers. At the top, we're at 0 squared equals 15 squared sine squared of theta minus 2 times 10 times y. So we're really in kind of a pickle here. If you look at this, it seems like we have three equations and none of them had any variables we can solve for. But then here's the deal. I have to look at my unknowns. So I notice here, my unknowns are, um, I'll just go from the bottom. So I look at this top equation. I notice my unknowns are y, t, and theta. Three unknowns. That's a lot to work with. Um, in my third equation, I have my unknown as y and theta, two unknowns. And in my second equation, I have t and theta as my unknown. So my hope here is if I have another equation that has t and, sine and theta as my unknown, maybe I could do some kind of a substitution. And when I look, I realize, hey, my x equation has those unknowns too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this equation together with this equation. And I'm going to do that like this. So I have negative 10t uh, plus 15 sine theta equals 0. I'm going to isolate t. Um, and the reason is, truthfully, I'm a physics teacher and I have an idea of what to do next. So you're going to have to sort of do this and kind of memorize this step. Um, in these derivations, you learn how to do this by practicing it a lot. So I'm going to end up getting negative 10t equals negative 15 sine theta. I can simplify, so I'm going to end up getting that t is 3 halves times the sine of theta. And I'm going to put that into here. 
So uh, I'll get 18 equals 15 cosine theta sine theta times 3 halves. So I'm going to end up getting here um, 36 over 45 equals cosine theta sine theta. And I'm going to go back to my trig formula. So it turns out 36 over 45 is going to equal sine of 2 theta divided by 2. So I'm going to end up getting um, here, and let me make absolutely sure that I have the right. Actually, no, this is going to be 2 sine of theta cosine theta. So I'm going to end up actually getting here that 36 over 90 is the sine of 2 theta. And when I actually solve and get theta, what I'll end up getting for my launch angle is 23.6 degrees.